going on everybody? For today's video, we're going to be doing another unboxing from, once again, the awesome TimeWalkGames.com. And today what we have here is Splatterhouse SD. Now, as you know, there's a Splatterhouse 2 and 3 on the Sega Genesis, and then you have the not near as cool, in my opinion, modern day Splatterhouse on the uh, 360 and I believe PS3 also. But, you know, it's like, well, where's the first Splatterhouse? Well, this is it right here. Splatterhouse SD, also known as Splatterhouse Wonkonku Graffiti. I don't know if I'm uh, pronouncing that correctly or not. But basically, this was another one of the um, Japan-only releases, and it is part of the Splatterhouse series. And the reason why I think it has the word graffiti in it is because they use um, rotoscope uh, animation in, like, the, the first, or the number two and three, and so they have kind of real serious, real looking graphics whereas with this you kind of have more of a um, cartoony look to it I guess why they call it the graffiti look but also this has a whole bunch of horror cult horror and pop references in it, and it's a little bit different from the rest of the series but it doesn't disappoint on the gore or the scare or the horror uh, aspects at all it's just as good as the rest of it and it's so weird to see a splatterhouse game on the NES so you can take a look at the box here and you can see they did an amazing job on it they made Make everything from scratch at Time Walk Games, and um, they come bring it to you factory sealed. They recreate the cartridges, the manual, posters, all of the above, all made from scratch to make it as authentic of an experience as possible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up today. Normally I don't open up retro games because they have more worth, but since it's a reproduction, I actually want to play this one. So without further ado, we're gonna tear into this one as well and uh, see what the contents of the box look like. I really like the back of the box here because they have the, uh, the blood dripping down on the back. As you can see right there. So, let's open up and see what it's all about. Awesome. Once again, really awesome red carpet this time. This is a really kind of dark red, sort of to resemble blood perhaps. And uh, once again, it's got the awesome top label going on up here. And you've got the Splatterhouse uh, cover art right here in the front. So masterfully designed, super colorful, looks really awesome. Looks better than most NES games do from the 80s. And on the back here, it says timewalkgames.com. Um, cartridge looks awesome, brand new, freshly uh, painted, has a good weight to it, just feels like a really high quality solid game. Uh, so now let's take a look at what's going on inside the box. They have included a complimentary dust sleeve, which is pretty awesome. They've also got... There's the foam insert on the inside here. Make sure I'm not missing anything here. Nope. Okay. Here's the manual, which <laughs> looks awesome because once again it has the blood wrapping around on the back here, which I like. And uh, full color instruction manual. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is absolutely a masterpiece. It looks awesome. The fact that they take the time, full color manual, look at that. It's basically it does anything you expect the manual to do. It has uh, information about the game, uh, password systems here. <laughs> Here's the controls right here. I love the way it's animated in this book. Everything looks just phenomenal. Here's the different stages here on black pages. That looks pretty cool as well. And now we're going to take a look at the poster they included. And they also included another one of these cards. This is Donkey Kong Jr. And on the back here it says uh, Vine Dot, 10 points, Fruit Bomb, 400 points. Basically it's kind of like a top playing card that's a little scratch off game. I probably won't scratch it off myself just because I'd, I'd like to keep it as like a little oddity item. But um, apparently they randomly include these sometimes in their game so I guess I got lucky. So here's that. But here's the part I'm really excited about which is the poster. It looks like it's going to be a blown up version of the uh, cover art of the game. That is so awesome. Check that out. You can get a really good look about what's going on here. You got this creep going on up here. All the blood, hatchet in his hand, graveyard scene, Splatterhouse SD, written in the bloody font that they're so prevalent in doing on their boxes here. 
So, anyway, that Splatterhouse SD unboxing for you, uh, if you're into retro game collecting at all, go check out timewalkgames.com. They do extremely high quality work. Um, it's made to order, so it takes a little bit of time to come in, but it is very, very worth the wait, obviously. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video.